So you got a new laser and now you need some software to go with it. Well, you're in luck. Um, um, Chris Swag91 here has uh, developed a um, plugin for Inkscape. You can download it on GitHub and it's called Laser Tools. I have contributed to the um, to the plugin and I've improved a few things uh, so I'll show you now how it works. It was very easily uh, let's start with uh, Inkscape I'll just type a letter uh, or letters hello and of course I'm not justified here and I will I'm, I'm going to be using millimeters here I'm going to put the letter starting at zero zero oh and I for demonstration purposes I will rotate 90 degrees so you, you can click on control and rotate on the little handlebar here and then uh, just zero zero again right and um, let's say I want a letter which is um, uh, 35 millimeters So here we go. Hello here. And um, right, so now you have to start in extensions, laser tools. After it's installed, I'm not showing you how to install it. The instructions are good. Um, all right, so um, the laser has like different speeds for different things so for um, for um, the parameter you can set the commands so for me uh, my command is uh, m67 I'm using Linux CNC so um, Q100 that means 100% power for me and uh, the infill you can use a different uh, things and uh, the laser off command is uh, Q0 so um, the laser beam width means the amount of um, is basically the amount of uh, laser uh, passes that you want per millimeter so uh, let's say uh, 0 0.33 so I'm gonna want three passes per millimeter now that's gonna darken things quite a bit if you use 0.25 of course it's gonna be uh, a little uh, slower um, and it's gonna be darker uh, the in the uh, infill speed uh, I'm gonna use a 3000 that's uh, millimeters per minute and the uh, overshoot I'm going to use a full millimeter for that so what the overshoot is uh, it's the um, the amount uh, is for acceleration and deceleration so the uh, CNC will actually gain speed and then uh, start the fire the laser at the right uh, location while already at speed so if you have a slow CNC for acceleration, you want that overshoot to be a little longer. Mine is uh, quite uh, stiff, so I can um, I can be a little more uh, uh, brute with it. Um, also, uh, you can choose add contour. I'm using Linux CNC trajec uh, trajectory planning, uh, 4.1 millimeter so uh, you can choose that um, if you have a Linux CNC um, and I'm gonna add infill also uh, laser parameter speed per minute I'm gonna use 1200 because if I use uh, faster or slower than that uh, the material that I have might catch fire so I, I'm gonna use uh, 1500 just to be safe um, 
So uh, that's basically it. The power on delay, I don't need it, but you may need it if your CNC is not stiff and you want to wait uh, for the laser to fire um, after you, you're in position. And the passes, I just need one pass. Um, my uh, the directory is going to be hello on my uh, Linux CNC drive. So basically that's it under Windows. It doesn't uh, do multi-threading so you can activate it or not but it's disab disabled in, uh, in the um, uh, plugin. So uh, just apply. It takes a little while to render so it's not the fastest uh, thing in the world. Oh and it didn't work of course and you might get that. Uh, ooh. So the uh, reason why it didn't work is that uh, the path needs to be converted to objects and after that you need to select everyone so use control uh, or shift to highlight every letter and then path um, union. So that makes one path from the whole letter. So let's try again. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to switch to my machine now. Um, I have it on VNC. So there's my hello. I'm not sure why I created another hello. All I can say is this is likely a bug. So it's not a perfect software. Let's apply that again. sure why this one is here. Huh. Well, that's a little awkward. So this time I did it right, and um, so let's check on my uh, my file here. I just reload, and right, so it's at the right spot. So I should be able to uh, start my machine. Now, if we check on this closely. should see that um, there is there is an overshoot of one millimeter here but you will see that uh, that overshoot will not um, change the laser firing so the overshoot is there but the laser isn't fired at that point okay so uh, I'll go start the machine and uh, I'll be right back
for watching and uh, I'll be making some more videos for um, lasers I've been working on some software so uh, please uh, subscribe thank you